Hey, how's it going guys? I wanted to make a video today on should you get a nipple piercing and I want to kind of make this a series about piercings because a lot of people want to get piercings but the videos out there are kind of like when people just first get their piercing and it's fresh um, but this is my experience with a nipple piercing after two years and should you get one? There is two things I wanted in high school and that was a ferret and a nipple piercing which is just down here which unfortunately I have now retired after two years. Growing up you're told that getting a piercing on your nipple is extremely painful. Uh, I can tell you that this differs for a lot of people. I think in my personal opinion uh, it was about a 7 out of 10. A lot of people uh, 10 out of 10 in pain but it really depends on your pain tolerance. Um, I've had it done twice now. Uh, the first time it never healed, the second time it never healed. This is something that I wish I knew and what I really wasn't told when I got a nipple piercing is that the healing time is its a long time. Uh, they say it's about 9 to 12 months. It took me over two years uh, for both. And this could differ for you if you want to get one. It could take you like, I don't know, like two weeks or so for it to heal. But sometimes they will heal, um, but you definitely will still get flare-ups where you might get pus around your nipple, which is... It's not really appealing, um, it hurts. <laughs> Which brings me to maintenance. Uh, you want to be cleaning it two times a day, uh, but what they don't tell you is that you, you will still need to maintain it uh, even after it's fully healed because, as I said, the flare-ups, uh, you might bump it against something. It might get caught in your bed sheets. It, that has happened so many times, it is so frustrating. So yeah, after the initial healing, it really comes down to your kind of maintenance. Maybe clean it once a day. Uh, I found that cleaning it once a day was, it was good. The best way to clean it is to get a little shot glass and put salt water in it and then lie back and then put, put it on your nipple. Um, and just let it sit there for a bit and while that does work I've, I've never been able to completely heal a piercing. I've never had that that pleasure and Privilege don't get me wrong. I love my nipple piercing. Uh, I wish I still had it, but I don't um, One thing they also no one ever mentions when you get a nipple piercing is that one nipple is gonna be bigger than the other now Because you've got scar tissue around this one and well, this is the one I had done and I haven't never had this one done So right now I have a big nipple and a small nipple not like a massive difference uh, But it might be something you want to you want to think about if you you like the appeal of how your nipples look. Some of the cons that I found personally is that I would get my nipple caught on bed sheets. Uh, I sleep topless, I actually sleep naked, but you don't really need to know that, did you? So in the middle of the night, I'll be turning over and my nipple piercing will get caught in the sheets and it would really kill, it would hurt so bad. Also getting caught on hair, maybe, you know, you're with someone and they have long hair and it just gets caught and they rip it, it just, it hurts. To be honest, I find the pain with that is a lot worse than actually getting it done. Uh, the second time I had my nipple done, it was a little bit worse because I had to go through scar tissue. Uh, the first time I had it, it was, it didn't, it wasn't that bad. The second time was a lot worse. Something else is if you are into fitness, uh, you get a lot of irritation with your shirt. Um, if you're a female, I've, I've heard that wearing a bra can cause a bit of irritation, but especially if you're a runner, you're, you know, you're jogging along doing your thing, um, and just the constant like stress of, the, of your shirt going like this. You'll find this happens less and less as your body gets used to having a foreign object in it. Uh, it still happens occasionally, and it still did happen occasionally for me until I took it out last night. Even though the amount of stress that that my nipple has caused me over this time and is definitely still my second favorite piercing. Um, my nose ring is definitely my favorite. I don't think nipple piercings are worth it. Yeah, they look cool and you look awesome if that's what you're into, which I totally am. Um, yeah, if you do decide to go get your nipple piercing, that they do close very quickly. The last one I had that I took out just yet last night is now already completely closed, and it's been less than 24 hours. I will never be able to get my piercing in there again unless I went and got it re-pierced. The nipple is just something that heals super quickly. I mean, I can take my nose piercing out for days, maybe weeks on end, and it won't heal. I mean, my my piercing here still, it's been like 10 years, and it's still I can still put a, a thing through it. All in all, I don't think I'm going to get another nipple piercing. It was my second favorite piercing, but no. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with nipple piercings. They just never heal. They crust all the time. 
want to talk about the, the lip piercing, the next video I make. So if you want to subscribe, hit subscribe, um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.